everyone, Kim here, Sunshine Creations and Crafts. Um, this is thank you card number uh, three for the Operation Right Home. Now this was just sort of my I'm gonna try it first card and see how the technique was gonna work and it turned out pretty cute. Now the colors that I'm using are really fun. It's a bright orange uh, card base, A2 size. And then uh, I had this in my stash and I cut it down to uh, four by five and a quarter. And then this is the piece that I'm going to be working on. I kind of um, was checking out the color on the back of this. So we're going to be using this side. Now, the first thing I want to do is I came along here and I put, I've got some glue on my paper there. I put a pencil mark on about the halfway point between um, the top and the bottom. I'm going to use my masking, um, I believe this is Scotch brand, I got that at Walmart, and I'm going to put it on that line here, and then just, try that again, put it on that line there, I don't know if you can see, I don't want to darken it too much, it's right there, and I'm going to leave just about an eighth of an inch, I'm having a hard time holding onto it there. Um, from the top there and again on this as well and leaving about an eighth of an inch here but I don't want to cross it over I want to try to get it to go right at the edge of the card there we go and about an eighth there I'm just going to press down here now I found this um, stencil, uh, it's called, it's a Mod Podge st stencil. And uh, I didn't have any stencils that had these little circles. So I went ahead and picked it up. I got this at Michael's. Now uh, I did not know this, but this is adhesive. It's sticky. So again, that's what it looks like. I love this idea because I have such a hard time with my stencils. I, I, they're always lifting up when I'm doing my stenciling. So. Um, my challenge here is to make sure that my circles are even. My little pencil wants to get in the video there. And I'm just kind of pressing down, not too hard. And I'm going to use some spice marmalade and my round of blender pin, uh, blender tool. Blender pin, where'd I get that from? Alright, and I'm going to do light here. And I'm going to make it darker. And I got this idea from Christina Warner. And I'll put her information on this video for you. I saw her do this on a card one time and I thought, oh, that's kind of cool. Dark here and then lighter here, which I'm not going to go over that again because that would kind of defeat the purpose of being lighter. So you just lift this up. There you go. And you're going to put it back on your little piece of plastic that it comes with. You know, I'm not going to be too worried about that being perfection right now. Okay, then I'm going to lift this up. Just put that on top of my masking roll right there and lift it up there. It looks like a little side banner. Okay, so now some more masking. I'm using some Heidi Swap archival dye, and this is called Navy Blue. And the first one I want to do is, this is a thank you stamp, and I've had this forever. It's probably Fiskars, so I'm not really sure. But I'm going to cover up the U. Make sure that no ink gets on it. And I'm going to stamp that right up here. Sounds like we have a delivery coming. Shotzi's letting us know. And then I'm going to cover up the thank. Making sure I don't get ink on of that. Archival ink is awesome. And then I'm going to do, whoops, almost did it upside down. The U right there. And that is it. Oh, look, I've got some on my paper there. And we'll go ahead and put this card together. Um, this is probably die cuts with a view paper. I'm so sorry that she barks like that on my videos. She'll come down in a second. 
Put that one on top. There, she's quiet now. And then I'm going to put this one on top as well. You know, it's not real fancy or anything, but I just think the colors and the design of it all is just so cute. I want to make sure that I don't have, I did overcut that. Let me just cut a quarter inch off here. Move my stuff around. I've already got glue on it, so this is going to be tricky. I, I overcut it. I remember that I did that. I'm going to have to make sure that I wipe off my cutting blade because it's going to stick to everything. Alright, let me make sure that that's a good size now. Yep. And that Tombow glue is so flexible. Give another quarter inch off the top. Now we got it. Now we got it right. There we go. Now if you wanted to, you could take your stencil and just, um, you know, do the corners here as well. Uh, you know, let's just see what that looks like. That might be kind of fun to do since I have it out here. I'm going to put it like this. Try to get it so that it's, you know, in line with the U. Looks about right. Got that one there, and that one. Try to see if they're lined up correctly on here. Not pushing down too hard. Yeah, that looks cute. And I'll do this side as well. I think I did a little bit more on that one. As you can see, I'm trying to make it so that it's not um, crooked on there so dab it a little I wish all the stencils would have these I know Martha Stewart has stencil um, adhesive type stuff too so well that is so cute okay fun easy lots of great colors and a little thank you thanks so much for watching have a great day